Well, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, one and only AR Legends. And yeah, guys, today I am back with the next part of what if Naruto was neglected by his family and had the powers of Goku Black. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the previous part of this series. And if you guys have not seen it, please guys check it out. You guys will definitely like it. And yeah, guys, for the next part, the like goal is going to be 200 likes and 80 comments. Do that and I shall upload the next part as soon as possible. So yeah, guys, without... Before starting this video, I would like to make a request to all of you guys who are watching this video. If you guys are new to the channel or if you guys have not subscribed yet, please guys do so. It would be really really helpful to me as I want to reach 20k subscribers and you guys subscribing would be really appreciated. So please guys subscribe to the channel. So without any further ado. And yeah guys, I have also put the link of my Instagram within the description below. If you guys have not follow me on Instagram, please guys do so, it would be really appreciated as I want to reach 1000 followers there as well. And yeah, the link of my other channels as today I have uploaded one video on my channel, what if Naruto had broken through the loyalty seals that were put on him by Konoha and became ultimate prodigy. So yeah guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well. So without any further ado, let us start the video. Last time we left off as we saw that how Naruto had cleared the preliminary exams in which Minato had given a mission to Gai Sensei who had told Lee to go all out as Minato wanted to fight Naruto against Lee because he wanted to see what Naruto was really made up of as well as Kakashi was present there along with his sharding gun as he wanted to copy the techniques of the hidden village of power. They were still trying to find out the location of this village so that they can attack it all together and take it down. After all, it was a threat to the elemental nations and cannot be tolerated in such a manner. But to their surprise, Naruto used only Taijutsu as he was able to even overpower 6 gate Lee as it was shocking to all of the genins that were there as Lee was already moving at high Jonin level speed but he was able to be defeated by the hands of Naruto not even using a single Jutsu whatsoever as Naruto was able to defeat him but it did not matter to Minato as he has already given a mission to his Ambu squad as well as Jiraiya to bring Naruto back to the village so that they can ask him questions about this hidden village of power and take it down before it becomes even greater threat to them all as but to the surprise as Jiraiya was our arriving with his own squad of Ambo as several of the squads had already went off to Yugisa subdue Naruto as soon as possible. But when Jiraiya arrived there, he only saw a gigantic crater and nothing was found there. As Jiraiya had suspected that some of the shinobis of this hidden village of power were already waiting for Naruto to be there and when Naruto arrived, they attacked the other squads of Ambo and take them down before they can subdue Naruto as Jiraiya was angry at that. It was an opportunity for them, a chance for them so that they can be prepared for the attack on the hidden village of power as soon as possible but this time they would have to go blindly as they will still have an opportunity at the finale of the junior exam where they will subdue Naruto before even he went outside of the village as Jiraiya told Minato that as Minato was not exactly happy about it all as he wanted to take down Naruto as soon as possible as well as this village but the opportunity has slipped through his fingers as he was not happy about it but it did not matter anymore he had already given a mission and order to all of the clan heads and the shinobi of his to prepare for the upcoming battle as his missions were getting too low so all the shinobis were present in the village training and getting ready for the inevitable attack on this village so yeah guys that was the last part of the series so now Menma looked towards Naruto as they were still floating in that strange space as his hand moved as he shook the hand of Naruto as he finally understood that as long as he stayed in Konoha he would be nothing more than a weapon a tool for his father to use he realized that even if he somehow become Hokage which he did not want it anymore then he would still be a tool for you can say his father as he will no doubt become his advisor and will control him through that means Menma will never have freedom from him as Menma greeted his state he had more than enough of 
you can say seeing that disappointed look like he was something he had done something wrong man must sacrifice everything for his father to be proud of him but always and always minato has shown him the look of disappointment and manma had it enough of it he will no longer live according to minato he will carve his own path and seeing that how he is so caught loser and failure of a brother has achieved so much he believed that he can do that as well so he grabbed the hand of naruto as naruto smirk at that previously he was content and destroying everything as he had you can say already planned the death of menma and ruko but it seemed that this will be even further good thing he would he could only see the look on minato's face when he realized that his son as his prize son had decided to turn against them as his precious village as not to chuckle at that soon enough minato's look Naruto will definitely see it with his own eyes as Naruto smirk at that but at the moment Menma was simply too weak but he can easily change that as Naruto snap his finger suddenly from out of nowhere a fruit appeared as Menma looked towards Naruto with a raised eyebrow as Naruto smirk at that well Menma I rule this universe well most of it anyways and this is the creation of one of the strongest races of it that used to rule here but anyways in short this is the chakra fruit and this has the power to unlock your potential as well as to give you the power that is considered to be legend in your world the power of the sage of six path if you may say as menma's eyes widen and before you ask there is a possibility that you will obtain the renegan as well as menma could not believe his eyes for years he has trained like a an animal on the order of his father to become stronger and here his brother was giving him an opportunity to gain the strength that minato and jiraiya could only dream about that the legends like Na- madara uchiha and hashirama senju had never been able to achieve in their lifetime as menma looked towards the fruit and grabbed it and started to eat it as naruto smirk at that and just like he expected the chakra flooded menma's body who let out a roar as its power increased drastically but of course it was not even comparable to 1% of naruto's power but chakra was now you can say surrounding menma as six megatomas has appeared around his neck as well as two seeking balls as his eyes suddenly snap open with red renegan as well as tensegan appear in his you can say forehead as not to smirk at that as menma look towards his body this power i feel like i can do anything as not to smirk at that well then dear brother would you like to test this new found strength of yours as menma smirk towards naruto let's say If you're still stronger than me, as Menma rush towards Naruto, as Naruto smirk at that, as Menma push all the chakra in his face, ready to slam it into Naruto, but to his shock, as Naruto moved one finger, and just like that, his fully powered attack was blocked with a single finger, as a shock wave erupted from the contact. But Naruto simply smirked towards him. You may have gotten stronger, dear little brother. but your trail no match for me as not to flip menma on his forehead and just like that menma was sent flying at a you can say hypersonic speed into nearby rocks that was floating in the space as already knocked out with a single attack as not to smirk at that this may be a legendary power in the element and nations but compared to naruto's own strength it was truly nothing as not to smirk at that as naruto along with menma vanishes from that small dimension where naruto brought menma now let us have a time skip as naruto one month has passed in the you can say break between the chunin exams and now finally was the day when this hidden village of power has to represent itself in front of the whole world as well as the chunin exams as minato was you can say looking towards his council the plans has already been made the leader of the village when arrive they will you can say not allow him to leave this village without you can say capturing him after all it did not matter to them that this were you can say the chunin exam after all their village was suffering because of this village and they will take it down while far away rai kage was looking towards the unconscious form of his brother as b he has experimented on with the chakra and the seal and it has knocked out the a tail as well as b who was at this moment in coma not realizing that one 
when he will wake up while the scientists were looking towards Raikage with nervous expression on his face as Raikage was kneeling in front of the body of his brother a tears were already in his eyes. The chakra network of B was heavily damaged at this point and he was, you can say, the seal was barely holding on to it. It was clear that B would never be able to become a true shinobi anymore as Raikage looked towards his hands which were shaking. What have I done? As he started to cry at that but it all changed to anger and hatred. It is all because of that damn village. If that village did not appear then he would not have done anything to make Komo even stronger. His brother would still be here and they would be happy. It is all their fault. All their fault. These were the only thoughts in the minds of Raikage as insanity was clearly shining in his eyes. No matter what it will take he will kill the leader of that village and destroy that damn village. He did not care about the spoils anymore. No, he will kill each and every last person of that village. As he started to laugh afterwards as the shinobis were now getting a bit nervous seeing that how the Raikage was laughing in front of the unconscious mom of Lord B in such an insane manner while on the other hand Onoki was looking towards his forces. His forces were ready. They will not allow the leader of the hidden village of power that will surely arrive within the Chunin exams to leave in such a manner they will capture him and then they will get the information and the missions afterward as he nodded at that a while on the other hand Rasa was looking towards Orochimaru. Orochimaru, are you sure that this plan of yours will work? As Orochimaru smirked at that, well, as much as I hate to say about that hidden village of power, it has taken attention away from me, even though even my own village is suffering a little bit with the missions. But to be honest, we, didn't, we never did much of a missions to begin with. So it is a perfect opportunity for the hidden village of San Minato and the shinobis would be busy with this hidden village of power and show most of their forces would be outside of the village searching for this village so it is the perfect opportunity for us as Rasa nodded at that realizing that he does not have any choice as Orochimaru smirked towards Rasa do not worry Rasa-kun after all I have already made hidden waterfall as well as Kusa to join me as well in our endeavor after all. This will be a perfect opportunity for them to show their might to the world by taking down Konoha and proving to the world that they are strong and thus getting more mission just like you. But don't worry since sand is the great village they will get the most profit out of it as Rasa sigh. Recently, the only missions his village was getting were around the number of 30 to 40. Their village does not take D rank missions, so therefore, those do not count, and his village was really suffering at this point. He had to take this or leave it, but he had to do this anyways. As he simply nodded at Orochimaru as Naruto, while on the other hand was sitting on his throne, as one of his, you can say, subordinate arrived. My lord, the preparations are already made as not to smirk at that. After all, it was time for him to strike. But he does not want to end his fun too prematurely. After all, he has plans for this world. This is his personal playing ground. So he will not allow it to end in such a manner as not to smirk at that. In front of him were glowing screens as not to smirk. Looking toward the plans of Minato, Raikage's insane laughter, Onoki's scheming as well as Orochimaru's dirty plans and all that as not to smirk at that as he said what about the Mizukage as the subordinate spoke up well my lord the Mizukage is cooperating even though she is a bit scared going up against all the elemental nations as not to scoff at that as if she had to go and fight herself as not to simply shook his head as long as they stay out of it after all he's trying to do good things here as Naruto chuckled at his own thought and joke, as Naruto simply shook his head. It is time for him to go in his playing field and have a bit of fun. As Naruto smirked at that, as the subordinate simply smiled at his lord. While on the other hand, finally today was the day of the Chunin exams as Raikage with a serious expression on his face has entered into Kanoha. As he decided to go to the cage tower, while on the other hand Minato was there present welcoming all the guests that were arrived there as he noticed Raikage has finally arrived as Minato raised an eyebrow towards 
you can say A. He was looking different as well as his brother was not there as Minato was a bit suspicious since the news he's getting lately as A is not actually feeling too well but his if shook his head if these were bad times for the, for the elemental nations as they looked towards Raikage who simply ignored Minato and decided to take his seat as Minato raised an eyebrow at that no jokes about speed or something like that but he simply shook his head finally you can say Onoki has arrived as Anoki was floating as well as his bodyguards were there as well as the shinobis who were ready for anything as Anoki also decided to take his seat ignoring Minato as Minato sighed. This was now getting a bit out of hand but he simply shook his head and finally Rasa and the other villages leaders has also started to arrive. Minato did not expect it so many leaders to be here but it is to be expected but hopefully they will not intervene even though they will ha be happy that they want to destroy this village but Minato wants profit out of it. He wants to have the bloodlines that would surely be present in this village as well as secret chutsus and training regimes. When this village is done for, Konoha will take over its territory as well as the chutsus and clans for their own good of course and this will make Konoha even stronger. As Minato smirk at that, he will not allow other villages to interfere in these plans since the leader would be arriving in Konoha so therefore Konoha would have the advantage here as Minato smirked at that while on the other hand Anoki looked towards Minato with his hidden smirk as well. He already knew about Minato's plan it was damn obvious but he will not allow Minato to take all the advantage of that. His spies were already in the key locations and when the Konoha no doubt tried to capture the leader of this hidden village his own shinobis would be present there distracting Konoha shinobis and he will himself take down that village's leader and get him for himself while on the other hand Raikage was simply had one thought in his mind he will destroy that village he will destroy that village he was repeating that in his mind he did not care about it anymore those are the people responsible for his brother's condition so therefore they will pay for it pay for their crimes and finally you can say Mizukage has also decided to arrive as Minato raised an eyebrow at that recently his plans in Kiri has gone through the drain because of this woman as well as that hidden village. Now they long, no longer can get bloodlines from that village and profit from it and Danzo and Minato were not exactly happy but he happily welcomed Mizukage as they have small chat and decided to take there you can say seat as Minato looked towards you can say the arena just few guests are yet to arrive but suddenly all the cages are widened when they sense an immense aura and power as they looked towards the gates and finally they saw that three figures were walking within shadows as finally you can say it died down and finally the figures arrived as this was none other than the cage of hidden village of power as Minato's eyes narrowed towards this man the power he was sensing from him was really something else. As the figure walked towards Minato as Minato gave a signal to his ambu to not try to attack this guy but start to surround him if he makes some sudden movements then he will be taken down as Minato was a bit nervous with the power he was sensing and the chakra levels of this guy as Minato gave a small smile to the guy as he said huh. So you're the cage of this new hidden village of power I must say I have heard good things about your village as the person nodded at that same to you Lord Hokage I have heard many things about you as well as your speed as Minato gave a small smile at that well perhaps you would like to introduce yourself as I would do the same hi man my name is Minato Namakaze the fourth Hokage as the person was silent for a minute but then he started to remove his hood as he looked towards Minato my name is Jigen Jigen Utsutsuki the cage of the hidden village of power at this Minato looked towards him trying to pinpoint the guy he had a you can say pretty normal face as well as a ponytail but he was unable to recognize the name of the clan but the power he was sensing from this guy was really something else as the Jigen grabbed the hand of Minato and yes this is the same Jigen of Baruto series so yeah I hope that you did not expect it that huh right so 
Jigen looked toward the other cages as all of them were now trying to, you can say, examine him, trying to see how much of a threat he really was. As Jigen gave a small smile to all of them and decided to take his position in the cage booth while on the other hand all the cages were looking towards him as it was, you can say, flashback for Jigen as Jigen's body slammed into a nearby mountain as his body was now bleeding all over. He had already entered into his Osusuke state while on the other hand his subordinates were lying dead all around the place as Naruto was now standing towards him. Hmm. You cheeky brat as Naruto spoke up. You try to mock me with that, you can say karma of yours. Too bad, not even your king was able to successfully do that as Jigen stood up badly as all over his body were, you can say, injuries. What do you want from me? As Naruto smirk at that, you would be useful. As Naruto grab him by the face as his eyes widen when pink energy started to enter into his mind and body. As flashback ends, as Jigen took his seat, he was an Usutsuki, he can take care of himself and finally the tuning exams are gonna begin now. As Minato gave a speech about the wheel of fire and some other bullshit like that and how they, you can say, help each other and his shinobis admire each other as their own family trying to get more customers for his village by giving a long speech about their ideals about the wheel of fire and all that. As now the matches has begun as first match is going to be Nechi Hyuga versus Naruto. At this you can say many of the people started to murmur among themselves and started to cheer the Hyuga. After all he was the prodigy of the Hyuga clan. There was no way the failure of the Namakaze clan is gonna beat him right. As after some time you can say Nechi finally arrived to the stadium. And you can say Proctor asked for Naruto as Naruto also arrived within a blinding light of pink. As he looked towards Nechi with a bored expression on his face. As he looked towards you can say Genma. Who, as Genma was trying to examine Naruto. Trying to decipher the technique he used all around them. The Sharingan users were present. Ready to copy any and all techniques of Naruto to you can say use it for the good of Konoha of course. As Genma nodded at that, alright, are you both ready? As both Naruto and Neji nodded at that, as Genma said, alright then, begin. And with that, he sunshine away as Neji looked towards Naruto with an arrogant smirk on his face. You should know that the destiny has fate has already declared me to be the but before he could complete his sentence as Naruto appeared in front of him with a flip on his forehead and just like that Neji was slammed into the wall as Neji tried to stood up but then a kick slammed into his chest pummeling him into the same wall as Neji gritted his teeth as he activated his Byakugan but suddenly two fingers jammed into his eyes as Neji let out a scream of your pain and agony and try to grab his you can say eyes as he spoke up my eyes what have you done but before he could complete his sentence a fist slammed into his face once again jamming him into the same wall as Naruto you can say jump back a little looking towards Neji who was trying to release himself from the wall as he took a step towards Naruto once again as Naruto kicked him once again slamming him into the same wall as many of the people that were nearby were wondering if Naruto was trying to break the wall with Neji's body as Neji gritted his teeth as he tried to balance his body and you can say try to activate his you can say Byakugan once again as Naruto once again kicked him on his gut sending him into the same wall as many of the people did not know what to do whether to laugh at it or to be shocked that Naruto was single handedly beating down you can say Neji Hyuga the prodigy of the Hyuga clan as Naruto smirk at that you know I don't like people watching me lose with those x-ray eyes it makes me feel so naked so I'm not gonna allow you to use that you can say peeping eye of your as many of the Hyuga had a you can say utter shock expression on their faces as many of the women were now looking towards the Hyuga clan members who are now you can say getting a bit nervous while on the other hand Yashi was wondering the ways to kill Naruto when they will get their hand on him after all this brat will pay for humiliating the Hyuga clan as Neji gritted his teeth as he said you brat how dare you
as Neji gritted his teeth at that as he put his hand to his pocket and started to bring out a small pill. As Naruto raised an eyebrow at that as Neji started to eat it and just like that his wound started to heal rapidly. As Neji's eyes shot open as he rushed towards Naruto with his two palm towards his chest as Neji smirked at that this was the pill created by Sunada Senju as this would be able to heal up most of the wounds of a person but it has a negative side effect on their lifespan if you use it once then you will easily lose one month of your life pretty easily but Neji did not care anymore he will destroy this peasant how dare he to look down upon him he was a Hyuga and Naruto would pay for his you can say crimes against his pr but before he could even complete his thought Naruto backhanded Neji into the same wall you should have stayed there as Naruto said to Neji as Neji finally lost it he got humiliated long enough Enough of this as he rushed towards Naruto completely forgetting any and all Taijutsu releasing after barrage and barrage of attacks as Naruto smirked towards Neji at that. As he started to weave through the attack of Neji and jump over his body grabbing him by his hair and then you can say pulling him into the air slamming him into the ground at such a speed and power that the ground crashed as Neji led to the scream of pure pain and agony as Neji tried to stood up but Naruto kicked him into his chest sending him flying into the same wall. At this most of the people burst into laughter as Neji was once again trying to stand up. You know, I've gotten bored of it as Naruto's hand started to glow as he released a small key blast as Neji tried to rotate his body as he was able to make ki rotation but it was you can say not powerful enough and just like that the whole explosion took place finally taking the wall down with him as well as Neji's eyes widened when the whole wall was now coming down on him as he tried to scream but it was too late as the wall has crashed down on him killing him right then and there as Naruto sigh as Genma quickly br bring out his you can say other shinobis as well and try to search the body to save the boy but it was too late most of the people already knew that as Neji saw the dead as Genma saw the dead body of Neji as he looked towards Naruto who sigh and just like that his body started to glow as ne as Genma spoke up the winner Naruto san at this you can say Naruto's body started to glow as it vanished into energy and just like that from the shadows a figure started to walk in as that pink energy suddenly got absorbed by him as Naruto had a disappointed look on his face as he said hmm, that was an energy clone of mine which contains 0.00, .00 to 1% of the power I had hoped that he would be as powerful uh, as this generation but it seemed that I was mistaken this generation is even weaker than I expected oh well I tried to have fun with that he vanishes as, ne as Genma was wondering if it was not against the rules but hey Neji was tagged he cannot say anything now so yeah that is that while on the other hand Yuga clan was angry at that Neji even though a side branch member was still a member of the clan a prodigy the future of the you can say branch family and now he was dead he, they were not exactly happy about him while only the Minato grated his teeth at that they were hoping to find some jutsu from Naruto as he looked towards the Uchiha's that were present there as all of them shook their head as Minato grated his teeth they were unable to find any you can say flaws or techniques of Naruto with their shotting gun but sooner or later he will slip and Minato will have his answer as Naruto started to walk past by his you can say Konoha peers while on the other hand many of them were looking towards Naruto skeptically and some of them even scared as at ho ease his clone had defeated the prodigy of the previous year and now they were a bit scared of him as Naruto went past by Menma who was looking down at that suddenly he felt something was in his hands as he looked down to see a small scroll was there as Naruto went past by him as Menma looked towards Naruto a bit confused but decided to take his leave as you can say before he can do that someone grab his arm as it was none other than Hinata Hyoga as Hinata looked towards Menma with a small smile well Menma kun I hope that you win your match it is against Sasuke kun isn't it as Menma gave a smile to Hinata of course Hinata chan 
My match is against that damn, but don't worry, I will win my match. After all, Hinata was engaged to him. She was the love of his life. No matter what, he will always love her. But he did not knew that how soon he will regret those words. As he started to move past by her. And after all, there was a match going on. Shikamaru versus Timari. He did not care much about the match. As he started to say what was in the scroll. As Menma started to move, as he opened the scroll, wondering what was in it. After all, the plans were already made. So he did not he was not expecting any last minute changes. After all, he needed to talk to Naruto about you can say some of the people in Kanoha as he still loved few of his friends, especially Hinata Chan, hit the love of his life, but suddenly his eyes widened. No, no, it was not possible. It simply cannot be. As his eyes started to go through all over the you can say the scroll as there was another seal on it as his hand started to shake as he put some of the chakra in it and just like that few photos started to appear on it and just like that the scroll left his hands as Menma's shakily hand grabbed the pictures no it was simply not possible no it was not possible as he grabbed the scroll with the shaky hands the mission given to one Hinata Hyoka as well as Sasuke Uchiha to inbreed between the Uchiha clan as well as the you can say the Hyuga clan to see the result of the combination of the both clans. Dojutsu accepted the mission going on for one year as as you can say Menma looked towards the photos of you can say his fiance as well as his so called best friend. It was simply not possible. Tears were coming to his eyes. The up mission approved by Minato Namakase as well as you can say the council of Kanoha as Menma looked down towards all of the proof that was in front of him as tears were freely leaking from his eyes and suddenly his eyes changed into the red renegon as his power flared for a moment but he quickly calmed himself down any and all you can say link he had to this pathetic village was finally cut down at this point while far away Naruto was looking towards his so called brother with the smirk on his face. Well, I want to make Menma as miserable as possible in this series, so do tell me how you like the plus plot twist. So, yeah, as Menma had anger and rage in his eyes, he will kill that bastard no matter what. He will kill his so called father if it is the last thing he will do in this world. As he started to walk back towards the arena as the match between Shikamaru and Timari has just been over. As Menma looked towards the you can say arena with the dead expression in his eyes as Naruko was wondering about the plans after all her match was next as but before that it was Menma's turn against Sasuke. As finally Genma spoke up now the next match is going to be Sasuke Uchiha versus Menma Namakase. At this, you can say several of the people started to cheer at that while far away the head of the photo of the Uchiha clan smirk at that it was time for his heir and his you can say son to show the might of the Uchiha clan as well as you can say Sasuke smirk at that as Minato has you can say appointed this match for one reason and one reason only and that was to show the might of the prodigy after all both Menma and Sasuke were best friends. Therefore, they will work against each other with more vigor to try to prove themselves, try to prove that they were the superior one and thus showing the might of Konoha with their talent as Minato smirk at that. There was not even a single thing that could go wrong in this whole thing as Minato smirk at that. While on the other hand, as Sasuke appeared in the arena with a lightning sunshine as most of the people of Kanoha were cheering as Naruto was leaning towards a wall. It's going to be a good show as Naruto smirked at that. His fun is gonna begin now. Suddenly popcorns appeared in his hand as he started to eat them while on the other hand Shikamaru Nara who was watching the fight after being defeated by Timari looked towards Naruto with a raised eyebrow wondering what is going on here while that guy was you can say started to show that as if a great show is gonna appear but then he noticed a dead expression on the face of Menma as he started to wonder if Menma was in a game jutsu or something like this. No it was not possible QB would have released any and all game jutsus on Menma as Menma started to walk towards the arena with a dead expression in his eyes. 
Paul, how can he do that to him, his own son? How can Sasuke betray him? He was his friend and he was the fiancé of his sister. How can Hinata, Hinata-chan, no, Hinata, that bitch, can betray him? Anger started to arrive in his eyes, killing intent, flooded the area. As most of the people were shocked as Minato's eyes widened for a moment, wondering what was going on here. As you can see, Menma started to walk towards Sasuke, who was now looking towards Menma with a very expression in his face as Menma looked towards Je Genma and spoke up, begin the match. As Genma was taken aback with the tone but started to wonder what was going on here but nodded nonetheless. <clears throat> Alright, the match begins. After saying that, his son chain out of the way as Sasuke looked towards Menma. <clears throat> well, loser, what are you so angry about? Is it that loser brother of yours again? Well, don't worry, after I will defeat you, I will take him down as well, as Sasuke said with the arrogant smirk on his face. As you can see, suddenly Menma, who was looking down, his, you can say, hair covering his eyes, looked towards Sasuke, as Sasuke was taken aback with the amount of hatred that was being shown in his eyes, as for a moment Sasuke mistaken Menma for an Uchiha. As you can say, before Sasuke could do anything or say anything, his face was grabbed roughly as Sasuke's eyes widened when his face was slammed into the wall at such a force that cracks started to appear in it as Menma grabbed Sasuke once again and slammed him into the ground making a gigantic crater. Recently, Menma's power has skyrocketed with the training he was getting from, you can say, Naruto's subordinates, he was able to control his newfound power as Sasuke let out a blood curtain scream from his, you can say, mouth, but, Nar but Menma grabbed him again and threw him into the wall as suddenly a massive Rasengan appeared in Menma's hand. Die, you bastard, as Menma threw the Rasengan, as you can say, Minato's as widened as that. When did Menma master the massive Rasengan? Even he cannot do something like that. He had to enter into the sage mode to do something like that. As Sasuke's eyes widened, he was barely able to activate his Sharingan and able to substitute out of the way as Menma's Rasengan destro destroyed the whole area where it slammed into as Sasuke was panting hard as he looked towards Menma who was looking towards him with Kyuubi's eyes. As Sasuke gulped a little, Menma, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? As Menma appeared in front of Sasuke within a flash, grabbing his hair and making him look towards him. Do tell me, Sasuke, how long? As Sasuke was wondering what Menma was talking about, as Menma got even closer to him and spoke up in his ears, how long have you been with my... Fiance at this Sasuke's eyes widened realizing that what has been done no 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 he had to explain the situation after all even though you can say he had done it but he had done it with the orders of the Hokage as he spoke up Menma as, as Sasuke wanted to say something don't worry I know everything about that the Hokage's office but trust me Sasuke you and that damn Hokage will pay for it all as he slammed his face into the face of Sasuke as Sasuke was sent flying through several walls as Menma appeared in front of him once again his you can say face raised high into the air as Sasuke tried to move but it was already too late as Menma face made contact with Sasuke's chest as Sasuke let out a scream a pure pain and agony as several of his bones simply shattered under the force of Menma's punch as a gigantic crater was formed there as Menma threw Sasuke into the air and you can say started to make another Rasengan as it started to grow and then suddenly wind started to gather in it wind style Rasen Shuriken as he threw the Rasen Shuriken while on the other hand Sasuke's eyes widened at that suddenly you can say black flames covered the Rasen Shuriken and started to disintegrate it as but it was not stopping it as Sasuke was about to be hit by it but suddenly a flash appears grabbing Sasuke and flashing away 
as Sasuke's body was mostly, you can say, already dead as Menma was simply too powerful at this moment and the hit that Sasuke has gotten, he really did not get a single chance of doing anything as Menma glared towards the figure which has saved Sasuke as it was none other than Shisui Uchiha, the you can say friend of Itachi as Itachi and Shisui landed in front of you can say Menma stopping hit as Genma quickly arrived realizing that the situation was getting out of hands as he spoke up. The winner due to the inf interference is Menma Namakasa as many people did not know what to do at this point with the two clap or to do something else about it while only then Minato greeted his feet at that what was going on here why Menma was you can say acting out at this point he did not know anything about it at this point but he noticed something as Menma was now looking towards him as Minato focused as he realized the amount of hatred that was in the eyes of Menma. He was taken aback from it while far away Naruto was smirking eating his popcorns. It was a good show. Too bad it did not end with the firework but don't worry he will end his day with his fireworks. That was for sure as Naruto chuckled at that as while on the other hand Itachi was looking towards the half dead body of Sasuke trying to see if he was alright as he called for medics as you can say Tsunade Senju quickly arrived and started to examine Sasuke as her eyes widened as she looked back towards Menma who was now walking away not even caring about it as she was wondering what was going on here both Sasuke and Menma were best of friends, they were like brothers to each other as she looked towards Itachi, we have to take him to the hospital now, most of his bones are crushed to almost a powder like shape, we have to take him to the hospital as Itachi's eyes widened as she swing grabbed both you can say all of them and just like that he sent you towards the hospital but not before you can see Itachi shot a mangekyo glare towards Menma which Menma ignored as Itachi was tempted to use you can say Amaterasu towards Menma but he had to save his dear brother now as while on the other hand Jiraiya was also thinking the same thing about you can say Menma what was going on here as Menma started to go down the path of destruction was he the destined child who will bring utter destruction to the world was he wrong about Naruto but he simply shook his head no it doesn't make any sense why would Menma do something like this he has it all so it has to be Naruto yes he's the only one who has the means so he has to be the one as he looked towards Menma's retreating form as he looked towards Naruko she had a worried expression on her face as Menma started to walk towards the seating area ignoring his friends uh, who tried to call up to him as you can say suddenly a person appeared beside Menma as it was none other than Hinata who was looking towards Menma. Menma Kun you do not have to do something like that if you are you have some problems with Sasuke Kun then you should have talked with but before she could complete her sentence as Menma grabbed her by the neck and slam her into the nearby wall you shut your mouth you damn bitch at this Hinata was taken aback from it as she looked towards Menma whose eyes were blood red at this point as Hinata spoke up Menma Kun what are you doing as Menma grated his teeth you made a fool out of me for a whole year as you honestly believe that I do not know what you have been doing behind my back with Sasuke damn it as Hinata's eyes widened realizing that what he's talking about as a you can say expression of horror came to her face no Menma I, I, I can explain as Menma threw her into the ground as he glared towards her I don't need your fucking explanations mark my words you that damn Hokage that damn Sasuke each and every one of you will pay for it as Menma's eye turned into Rinnegan for a second but he simply looked away and started to walk away while far away Naruto was simply smirking towards it all well dearest brother it seems that you have passed my test well then we will destroy it all together as a smirk at that so yeah guys here I will love this part hopefully you guys enjoyed it so do tell me in the comment section did you like my this new turn of the events and all that in the next part I want your suggestions there are now two things that could be done with Konoha it could be utterly destroyed or Menma could take over it as Naruto under, under control of course.
under the control of Naruto, of course. Because through Naruto, this is mostly fun, not revenge. Because if he wanted that, he could have destroyed all of that. So Naruto does not care much about it. All he wants to have is, is the bit of fun. So do tell me, it could either be that Naruto and Nenma completely take over Konoha and then would be rebellions and all that. Or they could simply get rid of it. So do tell me in the comment section. So see you soon. Peace.